What up, y'all? So I'm back today, and today I wanted to go over real quick uh, seven things that <clears throat> they're just things that are always on a narcissist's mind that uh, you would just never believe if you're in a relationship with a narcissist and at the time that you are. Okay, so I'm gonna run off these real quick. Um, this is crazy, man. But check this out. So these are like secrets that they be they be thinking in their head, and the first one's gonna be that you are always going to feel alone. You're gonna feel more alone with the narcissist, this is number one. You're gonna feel more alone with the narcissist than if you were just by yourself. Why? Because you're with somebody who is a shell of a human being. They are a black hole. They can never generate energy. They're always sucking it and pulling it from you. So if you were at least by yourself, you wouldn't be getting drained and Number two is uh, to this uh, uh, number to this number one statement. The, the secondarily to this is uh, they're lying to you. They're lying to y'all. They're lying to you every day, and they, you can never have a clear conversation. You never can get to the bottom of anything, and everything is just so uh, asinine with them. <clears throat> All right, so um. Number two out of these things is uh, they're gonna they're they're thinking this. I'm gonna tell you the opposite of you because if I told you what was truth, that is is uh, that would that would make you even stronger than you already are. But I'm so intimidated by your strength that I have to tell you the opposite of what you truly are, so that I can defeat you. Because at the end of the day. I'm in a competition with you and I am intimidated by you and your power, your strength and security. So I need to break you so that I can feel better, okay? So what do they want, right? What do they want? They wanna tell you everything opposite to destroy you. Uh, number three, in my mind, I hate you. I hate your ass. I hate you, but I can't tell you that. And I want you to think that I love you. Because if I love you, I can defeat you. I can destroy you and I can bury you in the mud. And that's what we're doing. Narcissists. That's what the narcissist is doing. They're destroying you with every move that they make, with every breath that they take. Uh, it reminds me of what happened in Genesis 6 when it talked about the Nephilim and the giants in the land after the uh, fallen angels had made it with the human women. What did it say? It said, God said that there was they had nothing but evil continually in their hearts. When you have no love and you're supposed to be in a partnership, a love partnership with somebody, there's evil in their hearts only, continually. That's why God flooded the earth out, because the, 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 this depravative type of individual, it was, it was rampant upon the earth. Number four, I'll make you doubt yourself. I'm going to make you doubt yourself and double think and, uh, and, and, and uh, turn your clear-cut life of sanity into insanity because if I could make you feel insane and make you question the narrative of what you're truly living today that's my secret weapon to destroy you we're in a competition we're in a chess match and I'm gonna beat you why because I'm on a covert level and you're believing my words and not my actions number five me, my personality, uh, what I present to you, it's not real. It's not real. But you think it's real. And I'm going to make you believe it's real. Why? Because you're listening to my words. And you're not believing the actions. And so I'm just going to continue to lie to you. Make it sound good and you're going to believe it. How do you like that? And uh, 
There's nothing in here. I have nothing to give. Why are you with me, you idiot? I'm a narcissist. That's what they're saying. These are the things they wouldn't tell you, right? And anything you see that you like, personality-wise, mannerisms, my laughter, my joy, guess what? Guess what, empath? I stole it all. There's nothing in here. This is a reality check, ain't it? This is how they are. This is what they believe. I gotta give it to you like this. All right, so, um... Number six, man. Nar uh, empath, guess what? I know you think I love you. I know in the love bomb phase, in 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 uh, <clears throat> in in even when I made you my idol and I loved you, and I tell you I love you once in a while, and I might buy might buy you a gift, even an expensive gift. But guess what? I don't love you, and I never loved you. In fact, I've been cheating on you the whole relationship. Number seven. Your pain is my joy. Your pain is my joy. I love it. Ha, 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 ha. And your joy is my pain. <clears throat> and and uh I never loved you. Just like I kick the dog and step on anything living. I'm grandiose and I will step on you. But I won't tell you that. I'm out to destroy you. I hate you. I want you dead. And I want to take everything you own and everything. I want to wear every uh, good uh, quality that you have. But why would I tell you that if I'm competing with you? I wouldn't. That's the narcissist, y'all. And as much as you feel like you may love them, and I get that, and maybe you did, <clears throat> you have to let it go. Because <clears throat> someone who has nothing but hate in their heart, wherever it came from, okay? And there's absolutely no trust, and they're in cheat mode all the time, and they're always out on the hunt for the next best thing. <clears throat> at some point in time, even if you're the best thing in the world, if something you know down the road, twenty years younger comes around, they're gonna they're gonna go and they, and they can get it. You're gone. You get sick, they're gone. You lose money, they're gone. But all along, they're with you. They're gonna be stealing every quality trait and piece of energy and dollar bill from you. So, if you're out there, give me a like, y'all. I love y'all. Peace. And uh, stand tall, y'all. You got to soldier up every day. Not just to fight the narcissist, but to live in this world and this world system because it's all a lie. And, you know, we want to be heaven bound, you know. And we want to know that we did uh, the Lord's work when we was here, when we was here, you know. Uh, we want to hear that, you know, we, uh, what does it say? Uh, you know, for God to his chosen people, he will tell them in heaven, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And that's what I wish upon myself. That's what I wish for y'all. And truly, if you want to love yourself, like these people on all these channels, they love yourself, love yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> Love yourself. But you also have to give yourself to God. And he will give you every wish and desire in your heart. But it all starts there. 
and in a relationship, in a new love partner relationship, forget the narcissist. Uh, the narcissist will never work. Uh, even in hell, it would fail. <laughs> and, and it's not funny, um, but, but truly. But a relationship looks like this. One love partner, the other love partner. Each hand's a love partner. As you grow closer to God, meaning he's here, you go closer, grow closer to each one another. And this is how a relationship should be. You grow closer as you're looking to God in a relationship with your counterpart. You're gonna, what happens is, is when you look to God and you build your ethical morale based on his principles, his way, you know, then, then you're going to treat this person, uh, as man, the best you ever could. You're going to put so much faith in this person. You're going to put stock in this person. You're going to build this person up. You're going to be their best cheerleader and they're going to do the same thing for you. And so it's going to be nothing but growth. So peace y'all. Love y'all. Stand tall, sold you up. Till next time, we out.